by for yet another video. I do appreciate that, and as always, I appreciate you. So, what we have here says it looks like a war zone. Tropical cyclone Hilda lashes western Australia, uprooting trees with gale force winds and causing flash flooding. Tropical cyclone Hilda tore into Broome Wednesday night with 120 kilometer miles per hour winds. Um, residents said that the wild weather left the town looking like a war zone. Trees down, um, flash flooding as well. It has since been downgraded into a tropical low, but there are still wide wind warnings. Now, Hilda may cause damage to properties and heavy rain may cause more flash flooding. Um, Kimberly's Ico Beach Resort suffered structural damage. It goes on to say that a tropical cyclone lashing western Australia's northern coast has weakened, but not before leaving a path of destruction in its wake. The Category 1 cyclone Hilda was downgraded to a tropical low on Thursday, but it is still expected to bring damaging winds and possible flash flooding. Trees were uprooted, streets flooded, and boats cast onto dry land as gusts of up to 120 km per hour brought down on power lines and left residents running for cover. Now here we can see a picture of a, a boat that's kind of been stranded, pushed up on land here by the tropical cyclone Hilda. Here's some of the picture of the flash flooding that took place. Um, you know, not super, super deep, but at the same, at the same time still, uh, you know, Zoom on down here, see if we find anything else. Oh, this right here, this picture here is uh, a picture of Cyclone Hilda just north of Broome. This was on Wednesday. Oh, here's saw a little bit of a video here, just showing some of the damage. You see some trees, up, trees uprooted. You see flooding. Um, let's see what else it'll show us. Pretty much that's that's it just showing us a little bit of the flooding and some of the trees well, let's see here maybe it'll show us more it's not a long video so we'll go ahead and take a look at it real quick Yeah, you can see how some a lot of, look at the trees is completely uprooted. Um, and there's some pretty good pictures down here below this video as well. I'll share with you guys. All right, so not did not really showing us much there, but since the cyclone formed on on the coast just north of Broome on Wednesday night before tracking south and southwest, um, residents and holiday makers were forced to bunker down. With gust, wind and wind with wind gusts of up to 120 kilometers per hour, thrashing the coastal town. Police Sergeant Jennifer Boyle said residents suffered through a sleepless night as the cyclone hit the weather zone. Reported when the storm front hit it, hit us, it definitely felt a lot more intense than it had been predicted. She said, "Now look at this. I mean, this huge tree is completely uprooted. Um, you could see the flooding in the streets as well." If there's anything else to share with you guys here. So this this morning it looks like a bit of a war zone. There's lots of debris, branches, and leaves everywhere, and a few major trees have fallen throughout the night. Uh, one broom resident, Judy Britton, said while the wild weather had brought snakes out into the open as well. I've seen a couple of tree snakes. Luckily they weren't our, our king browns, but I think that the snakes are on the move too, she said. Now, forecasters say the danger has now passed for people between the, wall, the Walla and uh, Bid Yadanga areas. Again, you can see just some more. The power lines down here in this one, I don't know if you guys can see it too well, but there's actually uh, power lines down right here, right across the middle of the road there. It might be harder for you guys to see, so I apologize. but. That's what this is showing us. They got some uh, tree branches, but the power line is laying across the road there. Pilbara and Northwest Interior for the rest of Thursday and into Friday morning as the system moves south. 
It may cause damage to homes and properties, and the Bureau of Meteorology also predicts heavy rain may cause more flash flooding over the warning area. Areas that may be affected include uh, uh, Parnger and Telfer. Again, just uh, some more pictures of, of some of the, the, the damage and flooding. Now, conditions are expected to ease from the north on Friday. Heavy rain has pelted the West Kimberley region since Tuesday, and the system has produced gusts of up to 120 kilometers per hour. Now, both uh, Bid, Bid Yadanga and the Kimberley's Eco Beach Resort have suffered structural and vegetation damage, but no injuries have been reported. So, I mean, that's the good news. Um, no real injuries reported um, from this storm. Um, so that there's always some positive to take, to take um, out of these kinds of situations, but that's about it right there. I think that's all of it. Um, let's see. I believe so. So you know, uh, if there is any more updates as the storm progresses uh, down the coast, um, I will definitely get those out to you guys. But uh, you know, there was some flash flooding, heavy rains, very strong winds, um, trees uprooted, power lines down. Um, I, you know, some structural damage to certain uh, beach resorts and uh, other homes throughout the region. But, uh, you know, thankfully no loss of life. So, you know, as the story progresses and as the storm progresses, I'll, I'll get out any updates um, to you guys. But be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.